Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here with Alternative Brewing. Today we're gonna to be brewing coffee using the Joe Presso Espresso Attachment for the AeroPress coffee maker. Now, the Joe Presso is an attachment that replaces the original filter cap of your AeroPress with a large stainless steel pressurized filter basket. There's also a pressure seal and a dispersion screen that makes it possible to brew a concentrated shot of coffee with your AeroPress, including some crema that's not traditionally done with this popular brew method. So if you are looking to experiment with your AeroPress and want to brew coffee that's more akin to espresso, you can shop the Joe Presso from this link up above. Stay with me now as we jump in and begin brewing with one. First, I'm gonna weigh out 18 grams of beans and then grind them a little bit finer than I normally would for an AeroPress, so somewhere closer to a stove top grind. With the Joe Presso using a pressurized filter basket, similar to what you would find on a larger home espresso appliance, you're not going to need a full espresso grind here, but somewhere close will help with the full flavor and the concentration of the shot of coffee you make. Next, add your grounds into the filter basket and make sure you settle and distribute the grounds prior to tamping. Now I've found the bottom of my dosing cup is the right diameter, otherwise you can just use the dispersion screen. But that method of settling and distributing the grounds creates an even bed of coffee in the basket for the water to pass through, helping you brew better tasting coffee. So once you have prepared the filter basket, place this within the filter holder, adding the pressure seal on top, and then gently place the dispersion screen on top of the ground coffee before screwing the whole cap onto the base of the AeroPress. Now, it'll be obvious there's only one way to brew this. It's certainly not gonna be able to be brewed within the inverted method, so we're gonna stick to the original method here. And when ready, add 60 mils of nearly boiling water, which is about a quarter of the way to the number one, and allow it to steep here for about 20 seconds with the plunger off. You'll notice if I place the plunger on too soon, then the pressure begins to rise as that steam in the hot water is trying to escape, and then you'll begin that brew too soon as the pressure valve will open. But once that 20 second pre-infusion time is up, place the plunger on and immediately start pressing down at that normal rate of pressing on an AeroPress to activate the pressure valve for a steady and direct stream of concentrated coffee to slowly fill up your cup below. Keep pressing the plunger all the way to the bottom or until you get the volume that you're after. And the full brew time shouldn't exceed one minute 30 to two minutes tops. Now I was aiming for a 40 to 45 mil shot out and here it is, cheers. Oh yeah, that's strong and concentrated, all right. Has a nice foamy crema, and I could easily top this up with some hot water for a long black, or even add some steamed milk for a latte. Yeah, it's good. And coupled with the productive and portable nature of the AeroPress, well, it makes a quick and easy espresso-like shot, and you can easily smash out two or three of these quite quickly for a camping or a travel espresso brew. And to clean the Joe Presso, simply unscrew the filter holder, remove the filter basket and pop out the grounds, then give everything a quick rinse down and dry it to go again or store it away for next time. And that's the Joe Presso Espresso Attachment for the AeroPress coffee maker. Now it is the closest thing you're going to be getting to making an espresso with the AeroPress. as it's not possible to generate anywhere near the pressure you do need to produce the intensity and the viscosity of a traditional espresso, but with the pressurized basket, it does simulate these things fairly well. And I would even say it makes a very attractive alternative to the more expensive electric home espresso machines that use similar style baskets. So if you have any questions on the Joe Presso espresso attachment, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.